with The Culture Project, and today we're going around SLS 2020 to ask people, can men and women be just friends? Let's see what they say. What is your name and where are you from? My name is Kosi Uganzi, and I am from Texas Tech University in Lubbock, Texas. Wonderful. And our question for you today is, can men and women be just friends? That is a good question. And it's also a hard question. Yeah. Um, I believe that men and women can be just friends. I feel like specifically for me, um, I have a lot of male friends that I've grown up with. So like I've known them since childhood and so I can't see them more than friends. It's more like a brotherhood, sisterhood kind of thing. And I think that that can last and I think that that can like sustain itself. Um, I do believe that maybe meeting someone in adulthood and trying to be just friends with them. I think there's always a little bit of attraction and then you kind of see like where it goes. It may not work, it may work. But I think that the answer is yes, men and women can definitely be just friends. Um, but it is hard sometimes, it is hard sometimes. But the answer is yes. So what is your name and where are you from? My name's Jeremy. I'm from, oh, I go to school at Belmont University in Nashville, Tennessee, but I'm originally from Singapore. Awesome. Yeah. And our question for you today, Don't make um, it too tough. I won't make it too tough, but it is, it's kind of a tough one, is can men and women be just friends? Yes, because I am a guy and I have women friends and we're just friends. You heard it here first, everybody. Yes, the answer is yes. If possible. Why not? Why not? Right. And do you think there's something particularly enriching about male-female friendships? I think the different perspectives, because at the core, we're, we think differently and we feel differently. I think in society, it's, I mean, we're trying to like, trying to like challenge that, but I think guys do have the whole like, oh, you gotta be like emotionally strong and like macho and everything. But, and then women, like vulnerability and emotions, it's to a certain degree, it's embraced more uh, in women, but I think you need each other like complement it too. And, but we can go down and like, an, kind of like a weird spiral if you're not uh, careful about the amount, like how open you are and how vulnerable you are. Because when two people are really vulnerable and they're sharing a lot, the hearts can interlock and then yeah. it can get really gray. But I, th I think like once you guys are like good friends and, and that boundary is kind of like mutually established, mm -hmm. whether, whether it's like explicitly or implicitly, um, a lot of my boundaries are established, my, like my, my female friends and we have like great friendships too so I think it's possible but I speak from my experience so. All right so what's your name and where are you from? I'm Robin and I'm from Houston, Texas. Texas, wonderful and our question for you today is can men and women just be friends? Yes, definitely, absolutely. <laughs> Have you found male, female like platonic friendships to be enriching in your own life? Yes, I have. I'm an aerospace major and there's not a lot of females in that major. And so you kind of have to find those relationships. And I think they're very possible. So, yeah. yeah. What do you think they provide you that's different than perhaps a friendship with another woman? It's a different perspective, definitely. Um, there's a lot of like chats that we have about like the differences in aerospace as a major, like with your male, whether you're male or female, um, that we can have, and it's just like a different viewpoint on that. Um, it's just intriguing conversations, and like I don't think it makes too much of a difference whether you're male or female, and like you're having a friendship because the goal is that like you're getting to know someone really well, and like you're appreciating them as a human being, and I think that's definitely possible. So, thank you so much for your wise words. I think they're so beautiful, and people should hear them. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Robin.